Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am back with a different kind of video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my custom content in The Sims 3. Now, how I do it is I actually install like houses on The Sims resource. Um, the only other place that I install custom content really is um, Lana CC Finds or SS Vitlands. Um, but this video is going to be strictly how to install custom content from the sims resource because it's really like the same way and but that's how that, that's usually where i get my custom content is the sims resource so let's get on into it there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to need first um, the first thing you're going to need is an, an extractor tool now i have winrar but there's also 7zip and winzip um, but I use WinRAR, so the link to WinRAR is going to be in the description as, along with everything else. So you're going to go to WinRAR, and whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit, click on the version that you have. I will say you're probably going to need to check your PC specs to see if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system, because problems can occur if you install the wrong version. Now. I also want to say that I'm not going to be downloading all this because I already have it, but it'll, it'll work, I promise. So click on the version that you need, and then go to your whatever hard drive you have, just save it, and then click on it and install it, and it'll work. And so there's that, just download an, an extractor tool, step one, done. Next thing you're going to need is a your mods folder. Now. Before you install your mods folder, you're going to need to um, make a new folder on your desktop called Downloaded Mods. Oop, you see my <laughs> my video recorder. Um, but this is just where you're going to install or where you're going to download all of your custom content to, if that makes any sense. And I'll show you guys how to do that um, in a little bit. This will all start to make sense once we start getting into it. And so to make a new folder, you're going to right click on your desktop, go to new, go to folder, and then make it, you know, whatever you want, like custom content Sims 3. But I already have mine called downloaded mods, and so I'm going to keep that one and delete that one. Okay, so once you, you know, down, once you made your folder, open it. That's really big for a folder. How about that? Okay. So you made your folder, great. Now, we can install our mods folder. Now to install your mods folder, go to this link that I have provided for you guys, scroll down to where it says download, right click on it, click save link as. Now go to that folder that you guys um, made this, okay, making this download, like, making this downloaded mods folder just makes it easier to be able to find the framework setup. Just go to the folder that you guys created on your desktop, so go to desktop, and then find it, and then open, and then save. Boom. Now it'll say that it can't be downloaded securely. Just click on this little arrow thing and click keep. And there you go. And now... We can go back to our downloaded mods folder. I'm gonna make this bigger. Um, now, now that that is actually your mods folder, but in order to make it your actual mods folder, you have to right click on it and click extract here. Now, I do want to say that before you you want to do these steps in order. So, um, make sure before you download your before you <laughs> I'm sorry. Before you download your mods folder, make sure that you install an, ex an extractor of some kind. Because you'll need it to extract your mods folder. So you want to right click on framework setup and hit extract here. And now you can right click and delete the framework setup. Now, this is not where your mods folder is going to stay. Your mods folder is going to go into your actual like sims 3 game and to find that go to your file or go to your the search bar and type in file explorer and now go to 
Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 3, and to make it a little easier, you can click and drag so that they're side by side. And now you can drag your mods folder over here. Just make sure that it's in a um, in a a clear space. I already have my mods folder, so I'm not going to be doing that. But if you guys don't have your mods folder, all you have to do is click and drag onto this little like area that's clear. Um, now I'm going to actually delete this because I already have it. Now, go into your mods folder. Don't delete this resource CFG file because you're going to need it. Um, just don't delete anything at all. Um, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing in overrides. Go to packages. Make sure now, this is important, make sure that you're installing all of that, that you're dragging all of your custom content into the packages folder or else it won't work. Um, now, the the mods folder will already come with the no intro mod and the no build sparkles mod. The no intro mod is just a mod that takes away that, you know, the introduction video, the really long one that you, you can skip it, but it's so much better to just not have it at all. And so I just keep it. And then the no build sparkles mod is also really nice because when you make walls, little like sparkles come up. Some people like it. I personally don't. So I just, I just keep it. And now these folders weren't in here when I originally downloaded it. These are folders that I have made, like build mode, just to kind of like separate everything. You don't have to do this, but this is just what I do because I have OCD, I think. <laughs> okay, so now keep these side by side because we're going to need this to download the house that we're going to download. And so you can minimize this now. Great. Now you have your mods folder and it is in your game. Great. This is perfect. Now the next thing you're going to need is Sims, the Delphi Sims 3 multi-pack extractor. What this does pretty much is if you download stuff from the Sims resource, everything is going to be the Sims 3 packs. And what the Sims 3 packs are is they install custom content through the Sims 3 launcher, which I don't know if anybody else likes to do it, but I hate doing it like that. I, when I first started playing the Sims and downloading custom content, I did it through the launcher and it made my game run so horribly and it just, you know, clusters your game. And so what the what this little program does is it extracts and it, it it converts the Sims 3 packs into package files. And it's super nice to have. I love it. This I, I cannot live without this thing. And so you'll go to this descri this um <laughs> the description. You go to the you uh, go mm, you go to the description below and click on this link and you'll go down to files. And you'll click on install, you click on it, and then you'll install it. Great. I'm not going to install it because I already have it. Cool. So now you have everything. Once you have it installed, now you're going to go to the search bar again and type in Sims 3 multi installer. Now, something that you need to do. Because you're going to be installing your custom content um, originally into this downloaded mods folder. And so you need to make sure that both of these, step one and step two, is this folder. So you're going to hit browse and then find your downloaded mods folder and click OK. And then do the same thing for step two and OK. And then the extract button is going to be used later on. So we're going to... Go to a house that I found and I really like it. And so I'm going to just show you guys how to do it. And so you're going to scroll down, 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 down. This guy always has a bunch of different pictures and it's kind of annoying, but it's, it's okay. Um, and if you want to download like the individual things, you can, but since it's like, it's, it's a house and all of them are going to be installed anyway, I'm just going to hit the download button. Now, there's going to be a little timer, like a five, like a 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 second timer. Um, and if you get a, a VIP from the Sims resource, it'll 
take that away, but I don't mind waiting 10 seconds. It's fine. Now it's going to come up and you're going to find your download and mods folder and then hit save. Now, it's going to take a second. There we go. Now, this, uh, it, it installed, but it is a Sims 3 pack. Now, remember, we need to convert it to a package file. So go to your taskbar and click on your multi-extractor and click extract. Now, a lot happened. Look at all these things. These, these are, all, I know it's a lot. But these are, it's just all of the custom content that was in the house. Um, so in the original file that you installed will be at the very bottom and you don't need that. So right click on it and click delete. Now, I like to make, uh, make new files and, you know, name them certain things. So let's say, what, what's this house called? Um, Rasinka Pearl. So I'm going to make a new folder called Ra. Well, we all know I can't type Rasinka Pearl. There we go. Now, that's just how I because I don't like it to be you know all together and stuff. So I like to separate the houses. Like this Cottonwood house is a house that I installed, um, or that I downloaded, and so. You guys can, you know, make them all together if you want, but I don't like doing that because I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go down, you're, you're going to, bleh, I cannot, I'm stuttering so much, I'm so sorry. Okay, so you're going to go to your downloaded mods folder, uh, click and drag and highlight all of the items that are in this folder. Now, you're going to click and drag all of the items over into the, the new folder that you just made. Now, your game is, you know, you have this house in your game. You have everything that was in this house is now in your game. And there you go. That's that's literally it. That's all. That that's that's how you install custom content into your game. So, yeah. <laughs> now there is if you want if you if you don't want to install like full on houses, it's pretty much the same thing. You just go to objects and you, if this will ever load, that'd be great. <laughs> um, let's say I like this rug called the Mila rug. And it's just this, it's the same thing only with one item. So you'll go down here. I don't know why there's so many pictures of one thing. Click the download button. Wait the 10 seconds, unless you don't want to wait the 10 seconds, then buy the VIP, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, and so it'll download, blah, blah, blah. Perfect, let's go. Save it to your downloaded mods folder. And then I'm going to go into my buy mode. Decor, I have a rugs folder already. And so you're going to extract it again. And what and I do want to say that once you make these folders, like once you make this, um, once you select the folders in the destination folder, it won't change. So you'll never have to change it. And so that's a that's a that's pretty cool. Um, and so yeah, we converted it to a package file. Right click on the original file and delete it. And click and drag over to your rugs folder. There we go. Look at that. That's it's it's the same thing. And actually, I will show you guys how to, let's see. I'll show you guys how to do it through other sites. Let's say you want to go through the Lana CC finds. I'll leave her page in the description too. Um so let's say that you found something on her, on here that you like on her site that you like. Um, let's see if I can find something. A single thing. Uh, blah, doo, doo, doo. there's a lot of stuff here. And yeah, so a lot of CC finds, she usually, um, puts stuff that are from The Sims Resource. So let's see if we can find something that is not The Sims Resource. Is this the same thing? It's not. Okay, so I like this little couch thing. And so she'll usually leave a link. 
to download it. Sometimes it's the uh, Sims file share, and then sometimes it's Mega, which I use. And so you'll click the download button. And it'll be our it'll it should already open in your download and mods folder. Hit save. And then right click on it. Extract gear. Now you can delete the original one. These are already package files, so you don't need to um to to convert it. How you can tell that there are Sims 3 package files is it'll say Sims 3 package. If it is a, um, and you can also tell by the icon. If it's that, that big green icon, it's a package file. If it looks like the Sims 3 logo, like the blue one, then that is a Sims 3 pack. I know it's, it's, it's really confusing, but you want it to say the Sims 3 package. And so you'll highlight it, and I can't remember what this is. I think these are couches. Yeah, they're couches. <laughs> and so I'm going to you highlight all of them, click and drag. There you go. And so that's that's how you install custom content in your game. Um, I know this video is a lot. It's so much, um, but it's it's so easy. You guys, like, it's the easiest thing in the world once you get used to it. I know it's a lot right now, but I promise it's okay. <laughs> and so that's going to be all from me. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.